Thank you for watching GG Speedruns and Gaming. Today we're going over Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Definitive Edition New Update 1.03. The biggest to date looks like it addresses literally a thousand issues that everyone was complaining about. So hopefully this fixes a lot of that, smooths things out. I can say for myself, uh, I want to play the game now, and I didn't really play it uh, when it came out. I played 3 and Vice City a lot more. So here is what the game looks like when it came out. There's no fog, everyone was complaining about that, and that's what threw me off, and that's why I put the game down temporarily. So I just wanted to show what they were actually doing now. They just made the sun a lot brighter in the game, it seems like, so the fog's only visible from one side, right? That's no good. But in this, you know, this was a huge issue for me, the, the, the cheap wallpaper overdoings. It definitely looks like it's fixed now. The numbers look better. I can't see the old game underneath the new one. That makes me happy. That feels better even when I'm just I'm walking around now. Uh, they added uh, new, new lighting stabilities, right? You can see it in this as I flip the camera around. And my personal favorite edition of the day is they added cinematic mode, which was something that was available in all the classic versions. It is slightly different than the old ones. Um, it is definitely cinematic mode, mostly as you remember it. But the problem that I had with cinematic mode is that you had to um, change the cameras uh, with the control stick. You could change with the right control stick on the classic versions so when you drive too far away that you could still flip and see your car but now the cinematic mode on this version the camera only changes when you're turning or when you get really far away and you'll see in a second here I get down the road and it's just looking at a wall and you used to be able to flip with the control stick on the right back and forth to change your camera views and this doesn't really give you a choice so you just crash into the wall like that and uh, on the sides of bugs um, we have, uh, this was my biggest issue. This is why I put the game down to begin with. I loaded up a game and then my game file saved and there was uh, this issue where my control stick didn't work and it was constantly pushing in the same direction. Every time I quit, reloaded uh, different files, this is what was happening for my end. This is me discovering it, changing my controller around, changing controllers. All the controls worked for me, but for some reason it was pushing me constantly against this car so I couldn't walk anywhere else. I could move by shooting, punching, all these micro things, but nothing was actually getting me to move. And it was so frustrating, I, I didn't know what to do. It was the last straw for me, and that's why I put the game down, and that's why I'm making this video. Because I want to, you know, show everyone that someone like me who had issues with it, I find it a lot better, you know, 16 gigs is a lot to opt with, so. But they didn't fix this, and this has always been my biggest issue, always, it's not even a coding issue. They made, in all three editions, or I think just in Vice City and San Andreas, they made the garages smaller, they put crap in the garages to make it look homely, or whatever, but it looks terrible. Um, you know, the aesthetics might look alright, but you can't fit a, you can't fit a car, you can't fit two cars in there. Rockstar designed these garages perfect sized for two vehicles and then they mess with the ratio without changing the ratio of anything else. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Do these guys even play the original games? Cause coding aside, like this is a huge oversight and this is, you know, my, my, my definitely biggest issue. Um, other than the ones I've been showing you, this, you can only save one car in there, you're kind of locked in. But other than that, let's get to the notes, let's see what's different in all the versions. And I'll have them on screen so you could read them in full here. So here we have, uh, yeah we went over 1.03, 18 gigs, stability, cinematic camera right at the top there, that's what got me excited. Um, dude good so that's just the general and now we're just getting just into San Andreas facts these are just San Andreas facts you can see individual missions that they fixed now it seems like every version of San Andreas has been customized where everyone has a different variations of bugs so I'm really happy to see them address a ton of bugs that I've never even come across or didn't come across yet 
tons of these missions, you know, if you want to have a fun game, every time you see the word fixed, bug, or issue, have a drink. You'll be dead in a sentence, I'm sure. This is just the biggest fix I've ever seen in any game on a public format anyway, so on that sense, I'm proud of them. They're taking that stance, they're going that direction, they're listening to people. Um, you know, I hope people learn to lay off the GTA Remaster series a bit. It was kind of a uh, third third party situation, but you know, now that Rockstar's setting stepped in or got their foot in, um, they're they're actually getting to it. You know, Grove Street did not address these uh, when it first came out. They kind of breezed it off. It was on Twitter. Their developers saying, oh, it's just not a big deal, it's just not a big deal. Then Rockstar came in and said, no, this is a Rockstar game, it has to be Rockstar quality. So once again, so happy that they're fixing all these issues. Uh, with individual missions, little radar issues, uh, even the sign flipping, uh, turning around on Little Probe Inn. They're changing the... Uh, Apart from all the signs that were bad, they're they're even putting the right prices on everything. It just looks good now. So here's the only two Xbox One issues, the individual Xbox, and it's cool that they could find out that that was just on that console. And now we're coming up to uh, the PC issues, which is a little bit of a longer list. As you can see, uh, PC players, I'm sure, will be happy about this. I'm an Xbox player myself, but either way, there's a thousand issues they fixed across all, all versions here. And for all three games, but we're just covering San Andreas in this video, once again. Alright, well with that out of the way, quick discussion. Look at this. Everyone's arguing amongst each other. Peppa Pig is winning, dominating the market. Is this what history is gonna remember? I don't know, you know, our kids 10, 20 years from now are gonna say, remember when Peppa Pig beat everyone? You know, <laughs> it's the gr new greatest of all time. So downvoting doesn't always work. But I gotta say, with all these downvotes, I've seen a lot of love for Halo. Halo has stepped in, picked us up, and has shown us the way as they always do. Very happy with uh, Halo Infinite multiplayer. Can't wait to play the campaign. Very, very excited about that. What do you guys think about Halo Infinite? Everything so far? Let me know, please. And we have one last thing. 100,000 views. Wanted to say thank you to everyone who's ever watched. My, I put more work and effort into my videos because my channel is growing. And the more it grows, the harder I will continue to work. And thank you to everyone who's viewed, watched, liked, subscribed. Take care. Have a good day. See you in the next video.